I have a son in middle school actually going to be moving to high school next year in ninth grade and unfortunately we had to deal with a lot of bullying in middle school. When somebody is assaulted verbally and physically three times in a month by one student and the school doesn't do anything about it, it's really concerning. Jackson was walking into a classroom talking to another student and this student actually jumped on a desk, went and from Jackson's back and stabbed him with a pen so the whole way down his back. So he had like an eight inch gouge down his back. I didn't get a phone call from the school. I was not notified. There was another incident where a boy actually came up, the same boy assaulted him, pushed him in the back with his fist and Jackson fell down. And when Jackson fell down in the middle of the hallway, the boy actually started kicking him in the head. The outcome of that was the boy was suspended for three days. The assaults were actually recorded, which concerned me because then it makes me think that it wasn't just a spur of a moment accident. So that it was premeditated and, oh, it's funny to watch it after the fact. So then my son is told that he's on Snapchat and all these other things. So then as a parent, I'm like, well, that's not right either. I've brought my two sons this year, Jackson and Nathaniel. They got to experience the goodwill of meeting new people and passing out food and clothing. Coming out here to McDowell and just handing out food and clothing and other stuff was fun. It was nice to hand people their wanted items and it was nice carrying it to their cars. I. I had a good time because a lot of people were generous. So I saw Jackson in McDowell County at the event and I saw him, he was about 10 feet away and I said, oh my God, it's Jackson. I said, hi Jackson. And I went over to give him a hug and he went like this. That broke my heart. Yeah. So I've been thinking more about this and we want to do something about it. So I, you guys live in Winchester, right? Yes. Yeah? Okay. So there's a place, it's a martial arts school there, and we want to sponsor um, Jackson for one year to go there and work with a master there. Her name is Master C. She wants to take him under her belt, and she's going to teach him how to protect himself and when to use force and when not to use force. The other thing that we want to do is I know I have two boys. So I know how it is when you get one boy started with something, the other one's right there ready to get started. So once Jackson gets started and Nathaniel wants to do this, we're going to sponsor Nathaniel as well. <laughs> Thank you. And my message for this boy is I don't know what his name is that, you know, he really needs to stop. That Jackson's got back. He's got support. Some of my students started when they were five and six years old and now they're in their 20s and some of them are instructors and they're still here. So it's amazing to see that journey for them because martial arts is such a positive outlet and it, people don't stereotype it that way because they look at it going, oh, it's punches and kicks, but it's more than that. It's life lessons, it's values, it's, you know, it's the, how you're going to handle yourself in your future. Those life lessons will go on until the end, you know, of their life. So they can incorporate them into their work. They can incorporate them into their relationships. We do not tolerate bullying. I will not tolerate it. In fact, I've told my students that one, number one, no one lays a hand on you. You have the right to say no, and you have the right to defend yourself. And if you ever had to defend yourself, granted, don't throw the first move, okay? If you ever had to defend, and let's just say you get through put into whatever, detention or whatever they have, I will sit right along with you. My son was bullied to a point where, and I don't know if I should say this, I mean, suicide was 
something that was brought up. It scared me to death when I heard about it. We sat around, we talked about it with the teachers, the principal, everything. So we got him through it and he was good. And like I said, he joined the military and he's in the Navy. He's been in there two years. So now he's goal oriented and he's focused and he sticks up for other people. And that's the biggest thing of them all. You're creating heroes yes. of the that's future. What I love. Yes. And that is so rewarding to me as a martial artist and as a mother. In six months, you're gonna see a change in that young man because he will feel better. But we're also going to be teaching him when to do this and when not to do this. Always defend, always walk away, never throw that first punch. You know, walk away until you can't walk away is really what this is. I've been here since the beginning of June, and uh, it's been exciting, it's fun, it's helped me a lot. Anytime someone would throw a punch, I'd be a little scared, even if it didn't hit. But now sometimes when I see somebody throw a punch, I'll block it. I could defend myself properly instead of getting hit. Even if you're only here for a little while, it teaches you the basics. And if you're in a certain predicament, it'll teach you how to get out. I've been gaining more confidence. And then at school, I'm not so scared. It takes some sort of a stimulus for me generally to start working with a kid beyond what we're doing on the map. And really that sort of started coming up around the time of our testing. He was one of the kids on the list that uh, didn't want to test. And, and I asked him why. And it was just because he didn't feel like he would be able to succeed. Hearing that he was being bullied at school made me dig in my heels even more with trying to convince him that he needed to, to go through the test. And he did it, he passed. It's amazing. I can learn more things than I have before, and I'm getting more comfortable with it. Every time I go there, I get more and more comfortable. You have to do three tests, like three long forms, and then they test you on them, and then they, do, they tell you to do line one, two, and three of the student creed. And then if you get all those right, then you go to belt promotion, and then you get a new belt. He is focused, and he is improving. He's already gotten his yellow belt. I had no problems getting his blue stripes and his black stripes, which you need three and three to be eligible with a certain number of classes to promote. And so far he was in class today. So yeah, he's done well, really well. I enjoy the martial arts that we do here for art's sake. I, I like it for the sport. Uh, I mean, I, I, I don't know that this would be the way that I work with people if I didn't enjoy that part of it. But it's mostly just being a positive influence. It just teaches kids that they can overcome things that are thrown at them. Uh, I, I see a lot of the time a kid will be uh, in a compromised position on the mat, you know, struggling to escape a position, you know, feeling overwhelmed, and it's all the same feelings that we get in life sometimes, being overwhelmed by our, overwhelmed by our circumstances. It's helping people, but it's mostly just providing an opportunity for the kids to just get the most out of their life. Because a lot of them, there's, there's gaps, there's things missing, and it's different for different kids. So a lot of it's just, you know, uh, getting to know the people, understanding where the deficiencies are, and then just kind of being present. I imagine a room with a bunch of lights going down. And when they first come in, they're all over the place. They're looking around and you're like, focus, focus, you know, tension, you know, drop, give me five push-ups. Okay, now focus. And then all of a sudden they're focusing, they're listening. And then that one light bulb goes on. And then they're, we're teaching jab cross hooks and they're like, okay, finally they get that right. Their jab is their lead, your cross is your rear, you know, and then a second light bulb goes up. 
Then by the time they get to the black belts, it's funny because you see these little kids just go into town on one another. They're not scared anymore. They're shelling, they're pairing, they're, they're, they're fine, you know? And it's, it's really kind of cool. They are definitely more confident. They like practicing against each other. They are in two different classes, so Nathaniel will show Jackson what he learned, and then they practice at home, and vice versa, Jackson will show Nathaniel what he learned and um, how to defend himself on blocks and so forth. So they are learning from each other also, which is great. Jackson's now in high school, ninth grade, and I hope that nobody would put their hands on him but I'm hoping if it did go down that road again, that he would be able to defend himself and hopefully not be the easy target. Every parent needs to reach out and talk to their child every day about what is going on, what they've seen, what they've heard, and confirm it. And if there is an issue, definitely report it. Let your child know that you're there for anything, that they can tell you anything, that you can work through anything. If you're getting bullied, you probably you should talk to somebody teachers, guidance counselors, parents, talk to a teacher, they'll listen because that they're supposed to be there to protect you and help you learn. Because school is supposed to be a safe environment. We're here today to acknowledge Jackson and Nathaniel. We want to say we're so proud of you for all your achievement here. And we wanted to acknowledge you by giving you a trophy made personally for you Jackson Gray MMA 2022 I want to say congratulations to you thank you and we have another trophy which is for Nathaniel Gray and that's MMA 2022 congratulations and then one other thing that we have for you is we just have a um, um, a check for you that we would like to give you in honor to for further education and to start a college fund or contribute to it so we want to give you five thousand dollars towards that Nathaniel here's your check for further education in college and anything useful in that regard thank you gentlemen thank you so much thank you. keep up the amazing work what you learn here you're going to have for the rest of your life and it's going to continue to help you for years to come and we also want to say thank you to your instructors uh, instructor thompson and master tracy thank you sir for all your amazing work thank you ma'am for all your incredible work here i know myself and the whole gray family would appreciate and would love to thank best you best me for supporting jackson and nathaniel i'm going to martial arts class. I know they've enjoyed it. They're learning a lot and we are definitely grateful for them to be able to do this.